So today's scenario based question is, can you walk us through a challenging problem you encountered in an Angular project and how you solved it? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Frontend Insights. Okay, so today I want to share with you a challenging problem I encountered while working on an Angular project and how we managed to overcome it. Okay, so so uh, let me set a stage for you. We were working on a large scale angular application for a client and everything was going smoothly until we encountered a performance bottleneck that was impacting the user in experience our application was becoming sluggish especially when handling the large data sets okay so uh, let me know uh, let me know you the problem okay the root of the issue lay in our data table component we were fetching a significant amount of data from the backend and rendering it in the table. As the data set grow, so did the rendering time leading to the noticeable delay in our, in the UI responsiveness. Okay, so this was the obvious not acceptable, especially for an application intended to be used by hundred of users simultaneously. Okay, so what is the solution? What we did uh, to uh, resolve this issue? Okay, so after thorough, so solution like uh, after thorough analysis and brainstorming session, we devise uh, we devise a multifaceted approach to tackle the problem. Okay, so the first solution we did uh, the virtuous scrolling. So one of the first step we took was were implementing virtuous scrolling in our data table component. Instead of rendering the entire data set at once, virtual scrolling allows us to render only the visible portion of the table, significantly reducing the initial rendering time and improving overall performance. Okay, so second is data pagination. So additionally, we introduced data pagination to break down the data sets into smaller, more manageable chunks. This not only improve the performance, but also in enhance the user experience by making navigation through the data sets smoother and more intuitive. And the, the third option is optimize backend queries. So we also work closely with our backend team to optimize the data retrieval process by fine-tuning our backend queries and implementing server-side pagination. We were able to minimize the amount of data transferred over the network, further improving the performance. Okay, and the last one is uh, the code refactoring. So finally, we conducted a thorough code review and refactoring, refactored our Angular components to eliminate the any unnecessary DOM manipulations and optimize the change detection. This helped the streamline the, sorry, this helped streamline the uh, rendering process and reduce CPU overhead. So, if we if I say the conclusion, so in the end, our efforts paid off uh, by implementing the virtual schooling, data pagination, optimizing backend queries, and conducting the code refactoring. We were able to overcome the performance bottleneck and deliver a fast, responsive Angular application that made our clients applications. If the clients happy, then we are happy too. Okay. Okay. So and there you have it. So that's how we tackle the challenging performance problem in our Angular Angular project. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful and insightful. Uh, if you have encountered similar challenges in your Angular development journey, don't hesitate to apply these strategies and techniques. Remember with patience, perseverance, and a bit of creativity, even the most doubting problem can be overcome. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, please give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more such content on Angular development, uh, problem solving tips or Angular interview questions. Okay, uh, And as always, feel free to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, experiences or any questions you may have. I would I, I had love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy coding. Please subscribe. Thank you.